Welcome back to AppTerabytes. So today I wanted to highlight some of the imagery and some of the content that was in the video that was released by AppTera yesterday. If you haven't watched the video yet, I would urge you to go ahead and watch the video yourself. It has some great imagery and some fantastic sunglasses. So in this opening clip, you can see what I presume is the roof of the AppTera production facility. Looks like they're powering a lot of their functions through solar panels as well as you would hope and expect. But you can see that they have these solar hoods in different body colors sort of laid out across this row here and then rear hatches along this row here also with different body colors. You have to wonder whether some of these are going to end up on production vehicles or whether they are just out there for testing. This image shows some of the copper connectors that are used to connect the solar cells to make Aptera panels. This is an image of their press, which helps bring all of these layers together so that you have your solar panels and then you have layers on top of that that are going to protect from the ailments. So you can see that they have already sort of figured out how to make the shape as they would like and press it down. I thought this was a really cool image. I'm not really sure what they are showing here. Please comment below if you know what they were showing. Basically in the video you had this panel light up, then this panel lights up, and you can see that it lights up a little bit differently. So you have to imagine that maybe that it is getting different angle of what I imagine would be UV rays, and then this panel lights up. What I thought was interesting is that this panel right here lit up sort of slowly and you can watch it in the video and see that it initially comes on like this and then becomes fully lit which made me wonder whether it was actually being emitted by the solar panels rather than being a reflection of some sort. So you can sort of see it here as they light up and then you've got this last one that lights up a little slower. Here's another similar image where they were talking about doing UV testing on the Aptera. But then you've got this image here where they are also talking about doing UV testing on the Aptera and you can see that this is a very different testing module. So I'm really not sure what this image is portraying. Again, if you have any idea, go ahead and enlighten us through the comments, please. This is a picture of the impact testing performed on the solar panels, high speed hail testing performed. So you can see here that they have the shape of the panel, sort of how they're going to have it on the actual vehicle, but the rest of the vehicle is not connected to it. So you, it doesn't have something tethering it down on the sides, which would produce more force on the middle where the hail is hitting. Rather, the entire panel sort of shakes back and forth when the hail hits it. So you can sort of see that here. This is some of the freeze testing again, testing it without it being on the actual vehicle. So obviously that is the next step, is seeing how some of these weather tests perform when everything is connected together. Do some of these edges deform? These are all questions that have yet to be answered. But I think some of their testing that they have done so far has been very reliable and extensive as you can see by the amount of ice that has formed on top of this. You have to wonder what needs to be done to be able to sort of fix this layer of ice so that you can regain the solar capacity of the panel. So in the video they talk about the goal of 15 year durability. So They'll mention 15 years, they'll say 15 to 20 years. So the goal is for their solar units to last 15 years at least. And so that is probably what you need to expect to get out of each solar panel before it might need to be replaced. This was a video of the solar panel production line, and they were talking at this point about making 10 panels per day, 10 or more panels per day. 
The question then becomes if they are able to make 10 panels in a day and each vehicle has the full solar package and requires four panels per vehicle, then are you actually able to make about two to three vehicles per day? And then they show that they are using Maxion panels, which some of you may already have known that. And they show that over the course of eight years, the Maxion panels undergo much less degradation than conventional panels. And they tested this on 800,000 panels at 264 different sites. So that is pretty extensive testing. So Maxion also shows that they are generally able to be more efficient with the solar energy that is brought into each panel. And so here you can see that for the same number of solar cells, conventional solar panels, which are unnamed here, produce about 192 watts per meter squared, whereas the Maxion sun power system produces about 224 watts per square meter. And you can see that they have been producing these curved solar panels for some time now, although it was difficult to figure out how to actually purchase these. On the website, some of the phone numbers were for Singapore business lines, and so it wasn't an easy just click and add to cart and order type of situation in case any of you wanted to sort of get a sense of what these solar panels are like before getting the Aptera. This was an image showing what I believe is sort of the curation process or the drying, heating process of finishing the panel production. And then here you can see somebody carrying the sort of blueprint for one of the panels and gives you a little bit of an idea of how modular this whole thing will continue to be. And so it may end up being somewhat easy to replace those panels in 15 years when you need to. So that's all I've got for this video. Some of the key points being that they are already making about 10 panels per day, which seems to be about two and a half vehicles per day that they would be able to keep up with, which seems to be a little faster already than the expected one vehicle per day initial production rate that was initially estimated by me. Again, all of this is constantly changing. They have to be able to put these panels onto a vehicle and put the whole vehicle together. So just being able to make the number of panels required does not necessarily mean that they can make that number of vehicles in that same time span. So a lot of this is still yet to be determined and we will keep an eye on releases from Aptera to try to get a better sense of where we are in the production process and where we are in terms of getting our own vehicles.